Good evening and uh, welcome to Sundays with Amelia. This is the first virtual Sundays with Amelia and we will be having a couple more in the coming weeks and months. And uh, fellow participants and citizens who are joining us this evening, I welcome you all to this session and trust that uh, fathers and the dads and granddads and families and friends had a great Father's Day. Uh, very honored this evening to be able to uh, uh, share a little bit about the Amelia for Georgia campaign. I'm also honored to have with us this evening an expert speaker, uh, retired Lieutenant Colonel Greg Schneider, who will speak to us about regenerating farming in the second half of tonight's session. As I mentioned, tonight is the first of a series of Sundays with Amelia to connect with Senate District 40. And I praise God for allowing this opportunity. At the onset, I want to honor and praise God for this time. And I also wish to recognize and value your participation tonight as a valued citizen, as a valued voter, Involving yourself in the political process will enable you to make the positive change you want to see in your community, you want to see in the state of Georgia and in this great nation of ours. So tonight's session, the first part, I will be sharing a little bit about my vision and my platform. And the second part will be a um, snapshot or a presentation on regenerating farming. So let me preface by saying, citizens and fellow voters, that as a candidate, I declare that I know my role is clear as an aspiring senator for State District 40. My conviction is that my purpose and intention is to elevate the people's voices and thoughts and contribute to the common good, to represent your interest over my own, and I will do the work that you expect and deserve. Having said that, we must not forget that a senator is limited for two years. You vote them in, you vote me in, you vote them out, you vote me out. That's democracy in action. On the legislative process, we all know there will be floor votes. Legislators will be delivering passionate speeches, just like me tonight on policy issues. And the floor votes are critical, but not only to pass a bill, but a bill that contributes to the progress of the interest of the voters. And that is you, Senate District 40. Your one vote makes a difference. Your vote goes a long way to make the necessary changes that you expect and you deserve. District 40, if I may start, comprises of Brookhaven, Shambly, Doraville, Danudi, in Decap County, and portions of Peachtree Corners in Quinette County. But who am I? Why should you trust me and give me your vote? I'm an American, just like you. It doesn't matter where we come from or what we look like. If we recognize our abilities, our willingness to help, to serve, to work together and helping others, we will always have a place in this chaotic world. The Amelia for Georgia campaign is about promoting American and Christian values. Values of freedom, equality, justice, opportunities for all, and generations to come. Self-reliance, self-improvement through hard work. I am your voice, a voice that will put what is important in the journey for State Senate District 40. Above everything, it's not about me. It is about what matters to the communities. And that is such a beautiful statement, a beautiful statement and a powerful statement, I must say. It requires trust. 
fellow citizens, I'm asking for your trust. Give me a chance to represent you. It is Father's Day, and I'm sure many families came together today. Why families? Because American values, Christian values, carry the importance of families. Our country has been polarized for too long. Our country is divided. That's a fact that we cannot turn away from. It is good versus evil. It is bad policies versus solve the problem policies. It is thinking about who's worse off and who's better off. My vision for Georgia's Senate District 40 is one of a better Georgia. A state district 40 and a state of Georgia, a society that embarks on a new age of reform for unity and growth that will revitalize the American values of family, work, and neighborhood. The neighborhood that we dream about, that looks out for each other, the neighborhood that we say hello, that we care about, that will restore the American dream. At this junction, I believe that it is about building bridges between individuals, families, churches, and other institutions that serve the people and become the sources of our economic and social progress as American people. My vision, a new age of reform for unity and growth. My platform, let me just share you about three slides on my platform. <clears throat> Safe Pathways is the vision for 2025 to 2027. Senate District 40, the vision is there, Safe Pathways. It is to support innovation, bottom-up economic development, small businesses, small farms, that's one of the S, safe pathways. It is about the people. We support safe ways of innovation, bottom-up economic development, small farms, which our guest speaker will be speaking to later in this session. A stands for accessible and affordable health care. I am not a health expert. I am not going to be the panacea for every problem or every issue, but I will be a reliable supporter and I will investigate and work with the community to find ways to better the affordable health care and accessible accessible and affordable health care. F is about facilitation. That is part of my role as a legislator, to facilitate building safer communities, towns, cities, and state. How do we facilitate that? We facilitate that by talking and being with the community. Yesterday, I was in Tucker, at the Juneteenth, and I mentioned that I do not have an agenda. The agenda comes from the voters. The agenda comes from the communities. This is the beginning of that conversation where you as the voter, as the member of the communities of Senate District 40, will shape the agenda that your legislator, in the event I'm successful, that I will pursue. So, so far I've talked about supporting innovation, bottom-up economic development, 
supporting small businesses, supporting small farms, because they would be the lifeblood of building a robust economy for our small towns. We all want to see Doraville, Brookhaven, growing and sustainable. That is something that is in everyone's heart, everyone's wish, so that it can change the dynamics of inflation. It can change the dynamics of just the everyday grocery shopping if we work together. Facilitation, working with safer communities, what does that mean? It means we come together and work with the law enforcement agencies. I will be a keen supporter of the law enforcement agencies because that is part of the facilitation, part of the connection of a holistic approach to the development and the growth of our communities. It is together we move together. Last of my safe pathways is to elevate Elevate people's voices to boost children's education. I have five children. We migrated and made Georgia home in 2005. Georgia gave us and gave my family education. My boys went to Lakeside High School. My children had university or college opportunities in Kennesaw University, in the university, the State University of Georgia, in the University of Hawaii. And those are the benefits that in your American dream and in my American dream, we prioritize children's education. As your legislator, it is my role to elevate your voice. If it's education, it is my role to listen, to hear you, and to elevate that. If that is something after two years that I did successfully, that would be a milestone. That would be a big achievement. It's not the number of legislations. Legislations alone do not bring changes. Facilitation working with the community, just elevating that voice at a different level because it's all about the common good. It's all about your American dream, dreaming what your children today can be better with in the next five, 10 years. Every parent's dream is for their children to have the best learning environment that equips their children for excellence. I am not going to promise you that I will be able to do all of that. What I can pledge that I will elevate your voice to boost your children's education, my grandchildren's education, your grandchildren's education. Where are the parents' voices on their children's education? A legislator can speak for that other issues in terms of public safety. There are so many issues under public safety, so many things that needs to be managed, handled separately and differently. What is my role? I can be that voice that speaks to issues. For example, we see today the growing, the growing division at community level and also at state level, and also at federal and, na and national level. The issues, there's a long list, but bringing it back to our state, my concern as a legislator would be about Georgia. What matters to Georgia? What matters to State District 40? There's different, there's a diversity of people in our state in Senate District 40. And there are issues that are important to, for example, the Jewish community, the Asian community, the Latino Hispanic, the Caucasians, the African Americans. Those are all important and they matter. It will be my duty 
to engage, to strategize with you all, and to elevate your voices at the Senate, hopefully to enact legislations that will be part of the solutions. As I mentioned, legislations is not the panacea for the development of our country. It is really working together and I wanna promote that, that that is one of the approach or the strategies of my campaign, which is Amelia for Georgia campaign, is to work with the voters, work with the communities and bring things together and take it to the level of the Senate state. Safety is paramount for every citizen and is a fundamental requirement of any government. No two ways about that. It's a fundamental requirement of any government. It is your right, it is my right to expect public safety, to expect responsiveness to every citizen's safety need in life. Our state and nation, our state, Georgia, has laws to protect us and must be enforced. As your legislator, I will be working with you. I will listen to you and work together to enact appropriate legislations, not only to enact, but to enforce existing laws. Perhaps it's to repeal, in other words, to revise existing laws, because we need to be walking with time and what's happening. The borders, there are safety issues related to that. I will save that for one of the Sundays. We will just hone in to one of those issues. Law enforcement officers, are they adequately resourced? Are they trained to do their job? But that is the big thinking, the, the, the big ideas that I am just throwing out there tonight. Building safer communities so that when your child, your grandchild walks to the park, they feel safe. They don't have to have any fear, which we are beginning to do that today. 2024 in America, 2024 here in my neighborhood in Doraville, you feel that there are certain roads, certain corners that you feel a little unsafe. That shouldn't be. Where is the American dream? The solutions will come from you. And I, when I say solutions, voters, your concerns, your solutions, your legislation. I'm not here to prescribe. The process I'm promoting, let's work together to change the trajectory with the safe pathways for 2025 to 2027. Two years, two years that you will give a legislator to work. I don't have a credit score with you in terms of performing at the Capitol because I've never been there. What I'm asking in this very first session, let's build trust. For the benefit of the doubt, you don't know Amelia for Georgia. Give her a chance, give me a chance. I'm saying this because great leaders have always had difficulties along the way. What I propose is we don't see them as obstacles or barriers. I'm convinced and determined that working with the communities, a bottom-up approach, we will be able to make better decisions and we will win together. Safe, support innovation, accessible and affordable, facilitate. I am the connector and elevate people's voices. We will have to be strategic. We are so divided. And when I say when we have to be strategic, there will be issues that will be promoted by myself. There will be promoted 
by others. There will be times when I have to build consensus. Consensus because I care. Consensus because I know it's good. It's a common good for the people that I serve. Strategic, identify what are those low hanging fruits that you want me as your legislator to focus on in 2025 to 2027. What are those policy positions? My career, I've been a development economist. My heart was with the people. And that is what I bring to this journey. The road for Senate District 40 to the Gold Dome. And I say, needs a new voice. A new voice, give the new voice your trust. And as I said, you vote a legislator in, you can vote them out. That is the true spirit of democracy. That is the true spirit of democracy. Your vote will go a long way. Give me the opportunity to prove that, to make the necessary changes that you expect and that you deserve. The necessary changes that you're unhappy about, the changes that your legislator hasn't done. I remain passionate about that. I remain passionate about that through the safe pathways for State District 40. I'm coming to a pause here because I know uh, I've been talking too long. I want to ask you tonight, I want to ask you for your prayers. Times are not good in Georgia. We know that. I don't need to repeat it. Times are not good in America. Times are not good in our communities. There's a lot of unhappy people. There's a lot of people who don't have shelter. Just drive down the highway. There's a lot of people who can only make ends meet through paycheck to paycheck. It is time. It is time to rethink our strengths. As a community, as a district, and I'm speaking this plea with people living in Brookhaven, Shambly, Danudi, Doraville and Peachtree Corners. Hear me out in the next couple of Sundays and the next couple of months because the journey is just beginning tonight to shape the agenda, to shape the kind of legislation that you want me to promote and to pursue and to fight for at the Gold Dome. I don't have those. That has to come from you as voters. So I'm pleading, let's be in touch. We have only three months to November. It's not a long time. Please follow me on social media. I'd also be having some conversations in some ver various places. And I intend to come to your towns I intend to knock on your door. Hear me out. This is just the beginning of a conversation. We will continue. Sundays with Amelia, I will hone in to particular subjects. I will hone in to issues and needs. And where am I going to get those from? By listening to you. Please be in touch. My platform is open and I have a um, ameliaforgeorgia.com. I also have social media. You can connect me through that. I also have a phone number that you can talk to me on that. I need to hear from you. I need to listen. With those few words, maybe too many few words, I just want to stop there because we have 
a guest speaker who will be speaking tonight to us about a subject that I think he thinks is something that can help the journey for the Senate District. And this is to demonstrate to you fellow citizens, this is how I intend to work, how I intend to listen. If someone comes up to me with a great idea, big idea, I'm ready to listen. I will give you the space. I will give you the floor wherever to talk about this. And so tonight, as I said, this is the beginning of a conversation. We are honored and I am honored that a citizen, a voter in Senate District 40, Mr. Greg Schneider will be talking to us about what he thinks, his opinions of something that we can look and think about in terms of addressing some of the issues, everyday issues in our daily lives. So Greg, if I may call him Greg, enjoyed a 20 year military career as an intelligence officer, 13 years in the Navy, seven years in the Army, and he retired in 2012. He also taught middle school for nine years and is also a fine art painter. And I'll add on to what he gave me. He's also a father and uh, happy Father's Day, Greg. I hope you had a great Father's Day, and I will turn the microphone to you. And Greg, uh, everyone uh, who's tuning in, Greg will be giving a PowerPoint presentation. That PowerPoint presentation will be um, available. It will be available uh, at the uh, end of this uh, session. And also, as Greg is just uh, organizing his uh, screen, I'd also like to let you know that uh, at the end of this session, uh, you know, if you have any questions or if you want to have any information, please feel free to uh, let us know. And as we put this video uh, to social media before the end of tonight, you are welcome to watch and you're welcome to send uh, ask questions uh, either via email or also via social media, and we'll be happy to address those questions next Sunday, because as we introduce, this is a series of virtual Sundays with Amelia, which is Amelia for Georgia campaign. 